OEM is a contract manufacturer, so we don't own any products of our own. We build things for you or for companies that need things built. So we do everything from musical instruments and medical devices to things for railroads and oil and gas and heavy construction equipment like cranes and concrete handling equipment. But generally, we build products for other people. So that's why we say our customers are OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, and what we do is we build things for them. OEM started in Woodville in a 40 by 64 pole shed with a bunch of World War II vintage equipment. And today our headquarters is still in Woodville. We've got about a 75,000 square foot building there. Our second facility we built in 2006 in Nielsville. And then we've got a facility in Phillips. Then the plant we're in now is in Baldwin. And this plant is our most recent. We've been here just under three years. This facility really is some manufacturing cells that are dedicated to certain types of manufacturing, like the enclosures or assembly cells that are focused on specific industries like conveyors for the package delivery industry. I think it's important that people from business participate in these other areas so they get a sense of you know, what are the challenges that they're up against. It truly is amazing to see Mark's vision for how all of these pieces can come together. His passion for connecting people that want to create a better life for themselves and to create a, a better community, th these things are all coming together. And, and it's, it's basically due to his drive and his vision, working with the Board of Regents, working with early childhood, supporting education in our K-12, and, and that's the kind of legislator I would love to be. So I listen very carefully to Mark when he speaks. And that's what we're here to celebrate. Three universities have come together in a first of its kind collaboration. It has been a great partnership and uh, Mark Tyler, of course, has been a longtime friend of, I think all three of the campuses, he's on the Board of Regents now, but his leadership and advocacy really made a difference. And I'm not sure we'd be here without uh, Mark and others uh, from industry who said, we need this for Northwest Wisconsin. He demonstrates what I call quiet leadership. It's direct, it's, it's very, very engaging, and, uh, and it accomplishes something. I would love to have Stout get into cloning because I'd love to clone Mark Tyler, first of all. He's everywhere, he's in the high schools, uh, really promoting the career pathways that begin in the, at the K-12 level. That's exceedingly important. He's involved with manufacturing works to promote uh, careers in all sorts of ways. We couldn't have better partners. We would love to have more partners like Mark and OEM Fabricators. The inspiration that I get really comes from the people that are doing the heavy lifting. For our team at OEM, I get to be the cheerleader. The inspiration isn't mine, it comes from them. When I look at early childhood development, inspiration comes from people like Patty Draxler, who dedicate their life because of what it does for the children and the families. That's where inspiration comes from. Mark is ferocious when he gets on an area of interest and early childhood is definitely one of his areas of interest. He has helped us plan events, he's helped us uh, build infrastructure and sustainability and financial support. Not only did he serve on our board of directors, but the Family Resource Center is a vendor for United Way's Success by Six initiative. So really what we're talking about is creating uh, a new way for uh, community support. The money that's coming from the Flowers Family Foundation is going to create something incredible. When we think about what makes a family-friendly workplace, it's a, it's a number of things. First of all, it's a recognition that families are important and children are important, and having policies that support a young family or a family making time for family activities paid maternity leave or paid paternity leave. That's really critical. I think companies have an obligation to give back to where their strength comes from. And our, our strength clearly comes from our team members and from the communities that they live in. I don't see OEM ever not giving back to where their strength comes from. I mean, we want to build that. We don't want to tear it down. I don't see engagement ever going away. Congratulations, Mark. My very best to you and your family and my compliments for what you've done. It's truly remarkable, Mark.
from the entire community, all of Western Wisconsin. Uh, congratulations and uh, we, we love you, Mark. We think he's a hero here in our region. Now the state and everyone else will know and I think that's a wonderful thing.